Hello, this is Christian. Welcome to part two of the credit card number check exercise. Now, in this part of the video, I'm going to do the same as we did before. I mean, the calculation will be very similar as, as the first video, but I'll be using the for loop instead. So again, just a recap of what this uh, application is about. You're going to check the validity of a credit card number. Uh, we'll be using just eight digits number here. You're going to check these numbers by, uh, you know, uh, doing a a simple calculation as as you state in this document here and once we get the sum at the bottom here we get two sums we want to check the last digit to see last digit to see if that digit is a zero if it's so then that is a valid number otherwise it is an invalid number okay and then here are some numbers we can try as well okay if, if you missed the explanation uh, please watch the first video I explained it in detail so let's go to the spider IDE this is the previous exercise again just to make sure that it works I can run this again just to test that and I have some sample numbers up here this is the one in the document if you run it in here if it's a valid number you see that it's valid if it's an invalid set change that to a different number then that should be invalid uh, oops I forgot to run it you have to run it one more time say so if I and change that to change to a 7 and that is invalid because the total you can see is a 52 and the last digit is not a zero. All right, so now I'm gonna copy uh, just this part here, and I'm going to create a new file in here. We'll call it um, maybe cc2.py. I'll just paste it right up here. Okay, so we're gonna do a for loop, and um, the first one is, is for the sum one, okay? This is also very simple, and all you have to do is you do a for range, and the range is going to be the index. I call the index, and the range between, uh, you know, from the far right. Right, we want to start from the far right. So let me collapse this. So you can see. Um, okay, so you want to start from the far right digit, and going back, you know, a step of two, going backwards. Okay, so that means my range, my starting range, is going from the length of the uh, temp. Right from the far right, a uh, and minus one. Okay, because I'm not including, because if I if I don't include, um, you know, the if I say the length of a is really eight, but the the index position is really seven, right? Up to seven only. So you want a minus one to get the last digit, and then you would do a um, a step of a two, but going down from there all the way down to zero, and then you're going to do a minus two for this step. Okay, so that should do that. It should grab every other digit from the far right going backwards until you reach zero. Okay, um, uh, just to be safe, you can also do maybe do a minus one here just in case it goes to zero, right? So now we're going to do just something very simple. Sum one is plus equal to the temp of this index, right? You grab the last digit, which is zero or, or five or whatever it is, and temp of index, and then we want to convert to an integer. So we do the conversion here, and then that's it for that one, right? It's very simple. As you can see, there is no uh, updating the your index because it's automatic it's automatic does it right here for you so that it that's it for that part and then I also want to put here sum one is zero sum two is also zero so we got that one then the second part is the sum two so here and will be kind of similar index and the range from the length of temp Okay, this time I'm going to do a minus 2 because I'm starting from the second digit, right? So minus 2 gives you that. And then again down to a minus 1 uh, because we want to include uh, a 0, right? Because this is inclusive, I mean exclusive. And then the step will be also minus 2 going in the negative direction. So we're back to where we were before. You want to um, check if the total, if the number is as a two digit or not, right? Remember, we're going to do a summation of this one here. I'm going to multiply this by two and then add their numbers, right? So it will get the number in 
is equal to temp of index and we're going to times 2 but before you can do that you want to convert it to a number so it'll be int of that times 2 you will get a sum then here we want to check if n is indeed greater than equal to 10 if so then it's a two digit number right and then you can do a conversion here again so n is equal to the string of n and then now you can do the sum of 2 plus equal the int of right n of 0 plus the int of n of 1 and that's your sum 2 if the digit is a single digit the total here is a single digit then n is already that single digit we don't have to do any you know extraction then we just basically add that to the sum 2 of n uh, equals n and that is pretty much it for this calculation right very similar and then down here we can check for the um, uh, check digit so again we'll do a total we put some lines in here a total is sum 1 plus sum 2 and we can convert that right away to a string so we get the sum and then we're going to get the val valid value is the total of right the length of total minus 1 again just make sure your code works for every case a single digit you know five three digits right always works and then finally we can say if the valid value is a is a zero remember this is a string this will fail probably fail so you want to convert this to a integer again if you don't convert to integer make sure you put a quote around the zero okay so since I already did that it's gonna be an integer if so then say valid otherwise it's invalid All right so that is the for loop and again you can compare this to the while loop okay it looks very similar the process here is very similar um, without the that without this part but this is indeed the for loops so let's give it a try and uh, see if it works so on the right side I'm going to enter this first set of numbers in here and so here we go it's valid because the sum is indeed 50 try this one here and we also get that as well okay so that is working uh, beautifully and of course I did not put a loop here but you probably want to put a loop and you keep enter number and then if you enter a different number then just say quit right all right so in the next video I'm going to do the same program but I'll be using different approach without any uh, conversion so no conversion like I did here okay all are gonna be just integer and we'll do the whole process using two very special operators the modulus operator and the full floor division operator okay I'll see you in the next video